first one that's hanging here is just a black top baritone that I bought for $400 off Reverb or something like that back when they weren't popular. And I use that, that's a B2B tuning. I don't know what pickup's in it, but it's one of those guitars that you just buy and they sound great and um, I love it. And it just shows that um, you can build a really good playing, inexpensive guitar. Just uh, right off the rack too. So you needed the baritone beforehand or you were like, I wanna mess around with baritone um, to cover some the material? Uh, honestly, because I'm a bigger guy, I've always been gravi I gravitated towards baritones because they feel more comfortable to yeah. me. So like the fact that it's a long scale length and a heavier string like feels really good to me. This is um, a, song, a guitar I play on Heavy is the Ocean. It's um, a Fender Custom Shop baritone. And uh, I like this one so much when they, they asked me if I wanted any other guitars. I told them I'd pay them to make me basically a baritone that looked like Keith Richards guitar. Yeah. And uh, this has a stacked humbucker in it. And this is a really, even though it's a stacked humbucker, and I always find this with stacked humbuckers, they still have a single quality to them. They're not as fat. Yeah. But it really works for this song. This is tuned um, C to C for a song, uh, first song off the newest record called Heavy is the Ocean. And this strap is a strap my friend Tori at... Um, Red Monkey made uh, to look like Dwayne Allman's strap with that buckle on yep. it. So this is a really cool guitar. It's very light for a baritone. Oh yeah. And it's got a really good feel to it. This is a killer guitar. Between the strap and you know the obvious nod to Keith, it's got two big uh, thumbprints of historical guitar players all over with the strap and the, the telly. Yeah. It's a killer. I like um, tellies and Les Paul. Those were the, uh, you know, some of the first production model guitars. and. Those guys got it right the first time yeah, around. Yeah, they stuck around, didn't they, yeah. the designs. Um, this is a killer guitar. I don't even know if they make it anymore or what series it is, but it's a Squire Jazzmaster baritone with a bridge that looks like I invented it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have no idea what it is about this guitar, but this sounds incredible. And a lot of the Squire stuff, like I have a J Mascus uh, Squire yeah, Jazzmaster. Great signature. A lot of that stuff, like, um, really works. And again, like, it's nice to have nice guitars that are well built and, you know, have, have a nitro finish and stuff like that. But also, you can get a guitar that's like three, four hundred bucks and it sounds great. And um, so I just love having the ability to have all these guitars, like, lying around. Yeah. My rig. Clearly not a sno uh, snob to have a Squire and then a you know a custom shop Tellys and cust uh, Les Pauls. So. I try to balance it out. Yeah, you know? yeah. I don't want anybody to think You're I'm grounded. too bougie, you know. <laughs> um, more than machines, there was a couple of different, that song had a couple of different iterations and a bunch of different ov uh, overdubs. And I never, when I'm, uh, when I'm recording, I never do it like based on the guitar or a tuning or what something has to be. Like I think of the part yeah. and then I do it. So um, we got these parts from uh, Fender and Luis, who was originally my tech, but now works for Corey because he's cooler or something. Um, built this guitar for me. This is like an old Lawler low wine pickup I had lying around. These All are right. two parts ordered off Fender. Um, Luis like shaved this down. It has a light on it that when you turn it on and off, it makes like fun stuff. <laughs> and then this is like a deco boom pick art, I guess. But again, this is just a three parts. frets. It's a parts guitar. It's three frets. And the reason why I did it is um, because fretless can be challenging in different environments. Yeah. You know, so what I did was at least I know this is tuned B to B. At least when I start out and I hit the B, I, I know base. I can know what I can base the rest of the pitch off of. So, but as far as I know, it's the only three fretted guitar. I know Scott Ian did a guitar that when I was a kid that stopped at the 12th fret, but uh, I'm just taking it a little bit further than him. <laughs> yeah. He's a little bit older than me and I'm just like, you know, continuing the trail. Yeah. I'm joking. He lives in my neighborhood, I'm joking. <laughs>